I've just heard from the race organisation that one of our riders is in an accident after the stage on the liaison. Now, the road was terrible. Uh, we believe it's Joey and uh, I just hope he's all right. I mean, every, the whole team are now worried uh, about it because we don't have any more information. Uh, all we know is that the helicopter's gone and that usually means that it's bad. Hi everyone, welcome to episode 16 of our Race to Dakar 2020 series with Team Races to Places. Zip tied in. Lucky I didn't need a bitch last night. I would have my pants. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I think I might be getting a bad result today. Hmm. <laughs> think. Adapt, improvise, and overcome. What's Matt doing? Matt, need some help? That's what will ever hold me back. Life well, ain't nothing but a cool hand. Taking a walk here, boss. <laughs> We came here with 18 GoPros at work and we've ruined them all. Stop crashing, Mac. Not me. <laughs> They're not built for speed. It is me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You know, to be in a bivouac in the middle of Mauritania, putting on dusty stuff after sleeping in a tent that's like half an inch thick in dust. Feels pretty disgusting, pretty damn awesome at the same time. Yesterday I think we got a taste of what the Dakar is really like in Africa. In the middle of nowhere, you can only see 50 or 100 meters. Howling desert wind and dust. Stage 11!
Where we are at the end of stage 11, uh, pretty nice stage, quite fast. Just stayed focused and uh, tried to be safe, you know, and get to the finish. So nothing special, didn't push too hard. Hopefully got a good result, not seen the results yet, but uh, fingers crossed it was okay. Road smooth, didn't make any mistakes. And now we've just got the last stretch to Dakar. another liaison and just a beach race which is like 25 k's or something like that so this is the end of the big stuff super super stoked to be in and uh, me and Greg have ridden it side by side just the whole way through which has been absolutely fantastic you know you guys helped me so much and um, it's just okay, been a it's just been super cool what a what an experience to ride at night through Mauritania um, was just a joke. <laughs> Not an experience we were planning, but one we'll remember the rest of our lives. That was awesome. Thank you. Thanks, cool. Joey. a 20 euro note in it. I was oh, like, really? whoa, give me that back. <laughs> this is like the story of my life for the last five years. Border crossing. 133 of them. Okay. Mercy. So I just found these guys at the side of the road and wondered if they had any Yorkshire tea. What's going on, Tony? Where is it? Right Show there. me the tea bags. Ruin. Ah, oh, let me see. Yorkshire tea. One for the tux. This one's for the tux. Yeah, this one's for you, Marcus and Julie. We're having an African Yorkshire tea. Marcus, Julie got nothing to worry about at all your service was way better in South America <laughs> this is like I've been here 10 minutes already I still haven't got my tea and, that's the cup, and, that, and this is the cup you're trying to give me Look. right come on lads pack up then that's it now <laughs> what's going on fucking angry <laughs> <laughs> oh. Africa Eco Race Yorkshire tea <laughs> Just heard from the race organization that one of our riders is in an accident after the stage on the liaison. Now, the road was terrible. Uh, we believe it's Joey, and uh, the news is that he's hit a camel. Um, I just hope he's all right. I mean, every, the whole team are now worried uh, about it because we don't have any more information. Uh, all we know is that the helicopter's gone, and that usually means that it's bad.
Joey buddy, I hope you're okay and I hope you can make it back to the bivouac. Unfortunately, with about 80 kilometers left to go of the liaison, <coughs> Joey and I were riding along at just a steady pace to try and get here during daylight. We came up to two other bikers and as we went past them, a freaking camel stepped out of the trees on the side of the road into Joey's path. Um, he reacted very quickly, but he hit the camel. Um, and he obviously came off the camel and started to tumble and slide. The camel collapsed and it's, as his legs came round into the road, I mean, I'd been braking now for 40 odd meters as hard as I could, but I couldn't avoid the damn camel because I had another biker on my right. And I ended up having to go over the camel's legs. And unfortunately, he couldn't keep the bike up, so I also went down. Um, Joey obviously hit the ground quite hard. So when I got to him, or when we got to him, he was unconscious for about a minute. But he came around pretty quickly and his first pain was obviously his head but once he he came around and we could talk to him and whatever we ascertained that there wasn't anything wrong with his back or his neck his legs so we managed to then roll him over and the medical helicopter eventually arrived after about half an hour and they stuck him on all the machines gave him some happy juice the machine said he was fine he was worried that maybe he had some internal injuries but I don't think so, I think everything was reading fine. And then once the frickin' pain meds started to work, he of course then said he wants, I must make sure that they get him back here tomorrow so he can ride the last stage. Which I don't think is gonna happen, but that's the spirit of the guy, you know. Um, desperate to be here, hopefully he can at least be here and come and stand on the podium with us. So we'll see, it's hell of unfortunate. We had a good stage, we finished stage 11, which essentially the race is over. Um, we did well, everything was awesome. Unfortunately, a frickin' camel came and spoiled the party. Good on you, good. Joey. A good thing to take away from this is don't be cheap on helmets always buy a good helmet this is a top of the line showy helmet and as you can see it's held up well in a, in a high-speed crash and you know with anything less than this he could be in a lot worse uh, conditions so do not cheap out on helmets don't get the $150 one buy the $800 helmet it might save your life might save your kid's life, or it could save your good friend's life. So, Joey, hope to see you tomorrow, man. Right, evening, folks. Well, here we are in St. Louis. Um, this is sort of the penultimate day for us as a service crew, and we thought it was gonna be quite an easy day because we've been doing five, six, 700 kilometer days, which are quite long days for us. And this one was only 304, so we thought, oh, this is gonna be a doddle. Little did we know the roads can be horrendous and it was crawling at 12 mile an hour. We were just on a washboard. It was shaking the vans to bits and of course we've got all the parts and everything in. So we had to take it really steady. So it was a long day to get here, but then we also heard the sad news that Joey and Greg had had a bit of an incident after the stage, which is unusual. Uh, they did a camel, or Joey did a camel first and then Greg had gone into a camel. Uh, so we're uh, right, we need to rejig what's going on, how is Joey, where is he? And so it's been a bit of a calamitous day, but I can say, you know, 
we've got back on a bit of an even keel. We know Joey's been treated okay. It's not too serious. He's going to have a scan. We're hopeful the scan's okay and he'll be back here in the bivvy. The bikes are back out of Park Fermi. The boys are working away on them now. So they'll be ready for the morning and that'll be the end of the day. <laughs> It'll be, it's now five past 12, so it'll probably be two o'clock, three o'clock, maybe okay. a bit time we are finished. And what time are we up? Uh, I'll be up at five o'clock to get going again. So that's how it is, yeah. that's rallying. See you later, folks. <laughs> yeah. Wow, stage 11, Africa Eco Race 2020. So much went on with team races to places today. Uh, the stage was good, uh, stage was great, everyone got through. Matt Sutherland got a second, I got a fourth uh, for the stage, which was really cool. Uh, so we put some good times in. Everyone got through the stage fine. Then, on the liaison, you couldn't make this stuff up. Joey and Greg synchronously hit a camel, which put Joey in hospital and Greg feeling a little bit shaken and two severely smashed up bikes. So the mechanics are feverishly trying to get the bikes done. We're hoping to hear from the hospital very soon to hear if Joey is okay. Seems like he's, uh, he's, he's, he's you know, conscious and he's talking, so he just needs to get his injuries checked out. And hopefully he can get back and make it to Dakar. So that's it for the timed stages for the Africa race now. So all the riders are through and they've all got a time. So we have officially finished the rally. Tomorrow is just like, um, it's more of a fun beach ride to arrive in La Croze, uh, and get to Dakar tomorrow. So last day tomorrow, last day racing. Let's go to Dakar. I'm